What's up, it's Chris Heria, and I'm on a mission to find the best calisthenics athletes from around the world. I'll be hosting a meet and greet April 6, 11 a.m. at the Kangaroo Bars in Lagunas Park to find the best calisthenics athletes from Spain. And April 9th in Bulgaria at the legendary gym Garena. And April 12th in Germany at the FIBO. And giving 1,000 euros to the athlete with the best freestyle, and I'll also film a dedicated video with them where they'll be able to share their story and their training secrets. We'll also be giving away two WSWCF calisthenics trainer certifications. Definitely come out support and participate. If you'd like more info on how to get there, just send me or Thenx a DM on Instagram. But before I head out, there's someone I'm excited to introduce you to who just landed in Miami, who has a unique ability that less than 1% of people in the world have, taking bodyweight training to a whole new level. Shaq, otherwise known as Bonetics on Instagram. He's currently in Miami performing for the Cirque du Soleil show Echo, where he has an amazing solo performance. But today is his day off, so we're gonna be hanging out with this legend, find out exactly how he got started training, what his diet is like, his upbringing, his mindset, and how he was able to take his skills to such an extreme level. Bro, the videos I've seen you posting on Instagram, they're just absolute badness. Like, how did you get into this? How did you first get started? And how did you discover, like, oh, like, I have this crazy ability? I remember, like, watching, like, contortionists on, like, YouTube and stuff like that. And I was hella inspired, especially, like, being from a dance background. There's a huge style called bone breaking that I really wanted to get into. The first time I ever saw it, I was like, yo, that's, like, physically impossible to, like, squish your shoulders like that. I thought you had to break something, bro. But I just trained for it, and it all started from, like, Getting my school tie and like doing like a jump rope kind of technique every single day. Eventually, like I was able to like unlock like the mobility in my shoulders and my hips and everywhere around my body. So, so you weren't automatic, you weren't naturally super flexible. You actually no. were completely normal. Yeah, bro, I was completely normal, bro. Like a completely normal range of motion. Couldn't even touch my toes, bro. No range wow. of motion. My style is like, I would say like it's more like freestyle. The most important thing for me is like when people watch it, I don't want you to think it's real, you know what I mean? Like I want you to question it. Like when you watch it, you're Oh, like, we question it, bro. Yeah. And starting at like 12, 13 years old, like how did you get that mindset at such an early age where it's just like, okay, I'm determined to do this and like I'm gonna unlock something that seems impossible really? Just started from like trying to find out what separates me from the rest of my peers. And that's what really drove me to like learn what I do. Cause it wasn't, it wasn't easy at first. Like it was painful, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to put your body into like these different positions and like trying to like unlock the wonders of your body. You know what I mean? Does nutrition play a big role? Like do you, do you normally eat healthy like this every day or how's your nutrition like? <laughs> Honestly, I try to, I don't want to lie in it cause <laughs> my friends might be watching this. But <laughs> cause I mean like you have crazy physique, you know, you have crazy muscle mass, which is a big shock value when it comes to like uh, this type of stuff because when I first saw you, yeah. you know, that was the first thing that came to my mind was like damn this guy's swole But he's also like the most flexible dude. I've ever seen, you know uh, Pause <laughs> <laughs> So at one point did you start like making Instagram videos and like make a career out of this stuff? When I was in my dance group, we started doing competitions And I think through then like I remember like I was like yo I want to do this like for a living like I want to how can I progress and get to the highest height? I always wanted to work for Cirque du Soleil as well, especially like when I was like around like 13, like I always wanted to be around like, sorry, be in Cirque du Soleil somehow. And now you're in it, that's crazy, it's full circle. Yeah. My main thing was always to inspire other people to, to get into it and like find something that like they're actually good at. That was always my main goal. And I think like I'm, I've definitely like achieved that. I think for now, yeah, I just want to keep evolving and just keep going to that. I, I, I don't want to stop. There's no peak for me, you know what I mean? Have you ever been injured doing any of this stuff? Or is, like, is it easy to get injured? I had a recent injury. I tore my LCL. That was from doing like a lot of shows. Pushing yourself like too far can like, obviously result in injuries and stuff like that. You know so I mean? is this sport like a very painful sport? Because obviously it looks very painful. I tried contortion uh, for the first time with Uzi Bayar in, in Las Vegas. She works yeah. with Cirque du Soleil as well. Mm -hmm. And for the very beginning steps and progressions that I tried, it was extremely painful. Mm -hmm. So is this like a very painful thing? Do you always go through pain? Does it get easier? I think definitely when you start, it's definitely painful at first. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I always say to people, it's like doing yoga. You know what I mean? You do like, you start off in like in a, in a basic position, you hold it. It starts to feel uncomfortable, you know what I mean? But the longer you hold it after a while, it doesn't hurt that much anymore. You know so you get I mean? used to it. You get used to it like after you a while. You increase your range of motion. You increase your range of motion and the pain decreases yeah when people watch it they're like damn like is that not painful like it looks like it hurts but it's all it's all the illusion you know what i mean but it's also not it's all the training too all the training the hard work yeah for sure i mean i'm gonna find that out today right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yeah for sure bro
Yeah, it's crazy chilling with you, bro, because you're so humble. You forget that, like, you have these crazy superhuman powers. Well, I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Same for you, bro. Like, for real, man. Because I've been, I've been watching your videos for years, bro. Like, bro, that's an honor, man. All right, bro. So should we warm up properly? Let's do it, bro. I don't, I don't want to pull anything. To <laughs> <laughs> the contrast over here. <laughs> like, what do you do while you're, like, listening to audiobooks or something? Or just, like, you just kind of well, zone usually, out? Yeah, I'll just zone out, bro. I just put music in and yeah. I'll just, like, just hold this. Position. This is what I'll do. Or oh, I would like, as you get more comfortable, uh -huh. you can even try and like get your arm over it and just hook it here. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? All you want to do is slowly come up. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> That's painful, bro. Ah. I'm going front. How does that feel? Nah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Dang, yeah. what? You got really good ankles, bro. Really? Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, zoom in on that. <laughs> this was the first move I ever did, bro. Like, in terms of flexibility, bro. It's called a jump rope. What you want to do is right shoulder out first. The left arm straightens out. Like that. Yeah. And look, now you have your left elbow free. Like, mm -hmm. it's almost like you feel that rotation there. Yeah. And you want to slowly come back all the way down. Almost like, almost like you feel it, like you're pulling. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, I let go of some of the, the towel. Yeah, that's no, it's all good, bro, it's all good, bro. This is the actual movement. It's like that, down. Damn, you could do it with your finger, that's crazy. Yeah. Now you real, once you try with the towel, you realize how insane doing it with your finger is. You know what I mean? So, one side. Yeah, nice. Nice. Nice, yeah, yeah, pull down, pull down. Perfect, bro. Nice, much better. And when you come up, slowly, yeah, that's the rotation. Oh, yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. God damn, okay. Can we see like a higher level of like where that leads to? You can go into more stuff like this, like you can go to more stuff like this. God damn. What the hell? Yo. Yo, that's crazy. Sheesh. Bro. <laughs> so you wanna like kinda like Bring it as close as possible, and you can slightly oh, like open okay. your hand. You understand? Yeah. So this is for reps. Yeah. Two. And then this is really hard. This this part, this way, it gets really hard. So <laughs> that this is one of like my moves that I do a lot. It's like you bring your legs all the way up, uh -huh. and it's free. Oh hell. <laughs> this. Yeah. All the way through. No. <laughs> nah, dude. That one you, you have to train for. It's kind of yeah. like planch. It's like, yeah. there's no faking that. Yeah, it, it, like, you yeah. got to put in the work for that one. So what would an advanced like movement like that, once you train that, what would the next level for that be? Think of like a crazy flow like this. Yeah. Come here, bring it here. What? Come all the way down. The last move I'm going to teach you is like mm -hmm. a basic wave. And um, I love doing this move because it unlocks like, once you got, got it down, it unlocks like new doors to like different ways to move. So usually I start down from here and I'll just like one, two, Damn, that's crazy. And uh, like, it kind of looks like a ripple. Yeah, 100%. But once you have it down, oh. you can slow it down. You can really like play Yo, around How you with isolate it. like every move. What? Yeah. That's crazy. You can play man. around with it and like really like have it like turn it into anything you yeah. want. Yeah. Like this. Boom. All the way into the wrist, into the elbow, into the shoulder. Look at that, Boom. something like that. So, yeah. Damn, that's sick, bro. Definitely gonna start uh, practicing the, the first part. Yeah, nice. You got the fingertips and the, yeah. and the wrist down, bro. Like, and you can even play around, just like have like, just play around with the fingertips as well. Can we see like a, like an example of what freestyling would look like? Oh, that was sick, dude. <laughs> and you're out of breath and you're sweating, so this is a whole workout, right? This is a workout for real. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, let's go over the muscle up because you said that was something that you wanted to learn, right? Yeah. I'll do one real quick just to show you uh, the technique of it. Yeah. So when you go up to it, you want to act as if like you're going to step on like the magic button, right? Swing and then down, boom. Perfect. All right, so the next step looks like this. This is what I call the L-sit pull down. So it stems off that first move. Feet tied together, slam in, then bang. Like that. So don't go all the way up yet. That's finishing it. Boom. Bam. Yes. Close your legs. <laughs> Excellent. Now come back down nice and slow. Control. Boom. Right back to the same spot. You have it, bro. 
It's all timing and technique. Up, boom. Now we're right back down. Feet together, right in slot. Boom, boom. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some exercises now that you can do to, I mean, take this to the next level, make this a whole lot easier, yeah. and for you guys to do it as well. And so we're gonna go for jumping muscle ups. This is gonna show you how to get over the bar and develop the strength as well. And the second part of this exercise is once you get to the top, to lower yourself down all the way to a full hanging position. So you're doing the negative. So you're gonna build up all that strength of every part and position of the muscle up. Go all the way down. Dude, that was perfect, bro. Up, down. Yeah. Damn, so you have to hold from there under. Yeah, so this is uh, what I call seated L-sit pull up. So when you're just starting off, you could use a resistance band if you want. Sit down. Now go for reps. Yes, bro. There you go. Let's do a couple more rounds. Boom. There you go. Come on. More. I'm mad. It's mad, bro. Especially after everything you've been doing. <laughs> Boom. <sighs> Excellent. So that's it right there. Train that for reps, you know, start off like, if you can do like two or three perfect, you just do three, yeah. max those out until you can increase those repetitions. Bro, it was such a pleasure, pleasure training with such a legend, man. Likewise, you, man. We gotta pass by your job and see the performance, uh, check wow. out how it works behind the scenes. And I got you guys, man. I got you guys some tickets, man. Come down to the show. Thank we'll you so much, man. Guys. And we'll be bringing you guys along as well. We'll drop the video either on this channel or the Thanks channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. But in the meantime, to check out more videos from Shaq, AKA Bonetics. Yeah, guys, you can follow me on Instagram, Bonetics R, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Gonna be dropping a video real soon. Hell yeah, we're gonna do another collab on there as well, right? Yeah, for sure, bro. So there you have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, definitely smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. And to show my appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any video, you're always gonna have a chance to win some free Harriet apparel. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. And of course, for full access to all my workouts and workout programs, getting you in the best shape of your life, all you gotta do is download the Harriet Pro app in the App Store, Google Play Store, or just hit the link down in the video description, like always. But I'll see you guys in just a couple days with a brand new video. But in the meantime, check out this video that's gonna take your training to the next level, and I'll see you there. Mad love, peace out, baby.